So today I would like to show you a simple setup we can build for the 4MS meta module that can process sounds and create interesting ambient textures and layers. This is what it will sound like. Okay, now um, of course you can also use this chain without the meta module and process things in VCV rack, um, but for now I already have here the VCV version of the meta module, and the first module we will use in this chain will be the topographic delay again from 4MS. We have input one will go to the audio input, and then we have a stereo output that we can use and send this to one and two. And we can enter also taps manually. There is a video all about the topographic delay if you're interested, but basically we can enter taps manually through the tap input. So this will come from gate one. And we have here also the velocity input. So I can use, so I can use for example, another input here. So I, we can use external sources like a sequencer or a controller to enter taps and velocity. And of course, we will map also parameters. I will show you later also the finished version. But for example, we can map also the switches, right? So all the way to the left will be insert in this case in the center of and to the right edge, right? So we have a three-way switch we can also map. And again, I will show you also later on um, how this looks like. Now, the next module in the chain will be the dual looping delay, again, also from 4MS. In this case, we have two inputs, right? We have a dual delay. So we have two inputs and we have two outputs. And in this case, we can use the second gate input here or output to uh, ping or to sync the delay. Now in this case, I would like to map also the reverse, right, and the hold for each of the channels. But if I map this directly, right, if I use a, um, a knob here just to map this, I have to turn the knob multiple times to the left and to the right to activate and deactivate this. But we can use another module. This will be the pulses module from VCV. Of course, it's also available on the meta module, but instead of this mapping, I can unmap it and then map the button here on the pulses. And now to the left, it's off. To the right, it's on. I don't have to turn it um, multiple times, right? Always to the right, it will be on. Always to the left, it will be off. And then in the right click menu of the dual looping delay under alt parameters, we can change the behavior of the hold AB and reverse AB inputs, right? So if I change this to gates, right? And I use the gate output here, for example, to the reverse. So I know with the knob to the left, it's not reversed. To the right, it's reversed. So I don't have to turn the knob multiple times, right? I can just turn it on and off by turning it left and right. The next module in the chain will be clouds. Of course, it's also available on the meta module. Let me take this here just so we can see the inputs and outputs better, right? So we have, in this case, I will use just one input. So it will be, it will process mono signals, but we have again a stereo output. I will leave it in granular mode, right? In the right click menu, we can choose the mode. So I will leave it in granular mode, but I would like to take the quality a bit down to four seconds. Now I can change this from blend to stereo spread all the way up because again, I would like to have a stereo signal and then take this back to the blend and then this um, I can map and control the dry and wet. And also here I would like to activate the freeze with a gate, right? So I will use another output here from pulses and then again, if I map this to the meta module, right to the left, the freeze will be off, to the right, the freeze will be on. Right, so like this, I can use the knob as a sort of a button without turning it um, um, multiple times. And in this case, I would like to um, be able to transpose the process signal up and down in octaves, right? So here we have the pitch, right? But I don't want this continuous. I want this to jump in octaves. So what I can do, I can use the oct module from VCV, send this to the volt per octave input, and now I can transpose things by octaves. And of course I can also map this, right? So now to the left will be octaves down, to the right octaves up. 
And another thing I would like to do, I would like to add modulation to the position and size. So the size of the grains and their position in the, in the buffer. Right, and I would like this to be a random modulation. So I will use two walk modules. They will output smooth random modulation. One will go to the position. One will go to the size. Right, I can map the scale for modulation depth. Right, and I can also map their rate to change the modulation frequency. And now what we have here for each of the modules, right, let me move this here. For each of the modules in this chain, we have an individual output, uh, right? We have um, the topographic delay, we have the DLD or the dual looping delay, and we have clouds, but I would like to have another layer another mixed layer of all of them with the 4ms stereo mixer right so for example the topographic delay can be in stereo right so one channel in stereo but then the dld because it's a dual looping delay we can use it as two individual channels or tracks and then pen them also individually and then another stereo signal from clouds and this, the mixed signal, the mixed layer, I would like to send through a reverb. And this will be, of course, plateau. So again, we have stereo and then the last stereo output here. And then also here we can map the dry, the wet, right? The decay, the modulation depth and so on. And this is how the finished version looks like, right? We have the same modules. I didn't add anything, right? We have pulses. In this case, I have it set with the four inputs here right and another input also for the freeze for clouds we have walk we have the mixer and i have everything mapped with different pages right so here i have the topographic delay right i have i have input level i have the clear also so to the right it will clear the buffer if you want to clear your taps right time feedback modulation dry wet Right, and then the second uh, page here I have for the DLD, I have here the A section and then the B section, again, reverse and hold. Then I have clouds, right, with the octave jumps, with the size and position. And I have here also the modulation, right, rate and scale, input gain, again, freeze to the left, unfrozen, to the right, it will be frozen. And then I have here also the mixer and reverb, right, with the panning for the DLD. So we can pan the individual levels and also the levels for the different controls. So now let's have a look at this with the hardware module. And this is how it looks like on the actual meta module. You can see I have all the modules loaded and I have also a list of the jacks here of the different connections, right? And also I can look at the different controls of each page. So this is, for example, the typographic um, delay. Right, I have here a simple sequence, just a few notes. Right, nothing too crazy, but you can see how the, you will see how the uh, typographic delay will change this into something with a bit more texture. Right, so what I will do, I have already the connections here to the tap and the velocity. And I have here the planar tool from IntelliJ. So up and down, I can control the velocity, right? This is going to the meta module. And I have here also a gate that I can click and open a gate or a trigger and trigger the taps. So like this, I can add the taps. Right, with velocity, maybe something like this. Right, and you can see here I have it set, I have it set to add, and uh, in this case it was in low pass filter mode. Right, so the velocity will control the low pass filter, I can change the dry and wet. Right, the feedback, I can add modulation if I want. And this is going from the mixer output, so if I change the view here, Hoppala, to the mixer, let me take the reverb for a second down. Right, I have here the level for the, for the delay. Right, and I can add some reverb here with plateau. Again, this is from the mixer. 
And another thing that goes to the mixer is clouds that I have here. Now I have my um, keyboard connected to it, my synthesizer I have here, the Yamaha CS Reface. Right, this is going into it. Right, so I have it now frozen, I have the buffer frozen. I can change the size. Right, I can change the position. And again, I can add modulation to both of them. In this case, I'm going to go fully wet. Right, and again, I can change also the octaves. Yes, and also this is going from the mixer Right, so again, if we'll take a look at the mixer, for example, what I can do, I can take the dry signal out from the reverb and just have the wet. Right, and create this texture again, changing the levels a bit. And now for the dual looping delay, I have here, again, the keyboard I will send to it, right, so it will go to both inputs, and I will um, process it separately, so this is not going to the mixer, right, I have it once going, in my case, to, to Magneto. can hold it. Right, so now again it's frozen, I can reverse it. I will take this all the way up. Right, and I have it also going through Starlab. Right, so I can freeze another side. Right, I can change the dry wet and then use Starlab and Magneto to process both loops. Right, and create a nice ambient texture. Everything from the meta module. I will add also a bass to this. Um, but that was it for today. Thank you again so, so much for watching. Cheers.